Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today I wanna field a question that was asked to me by another trainer. Um, and that is, when are you okay with letting your clients work out on their own? The subtext here is a lot of people do some exercises with questionable technique that is risking making training not fun, right? It's like if I'm deadlifting and I round my back a lot when I do my deadlift, then I'm probably going to have a really tight back and maybe even injure my back while I do my deadlifts. Um, and, you know, maybe not, but probably the, the likelihood goes up. And so in a case like that, I'm probably not going to say, hey, I want you to do these deadlifts on your own. If you're, you know, totally green, new to lifting, new to deadlifting in particular, then yeah, I might just say, hey, well, how about you table this and we'll go over it again next time. Um, so that's it. I mean, that's a good reason to not let that happen. But working out is still really important. Fitness is still really important. So I do think that everybody should do something on their own. And in a case like that, I might just say, hey, go on a, a cardio machine and do some sort of continuous exercise. Maybe you do some interval work where you push really hard for 30 seconds and then you pedal really easily for a minute and a half. And that allows you to really recover. And that also puts some stress on your muscle. And the whole time you're stressing your cardiovascular system, which we know is <laughs> very important for long term health. Um, that's kind of my philosophy on it, right? I want you to do absolutely everything that you are willing to do. And there are only a few cases where I would say, no, that's not okay. If you, as a coach, you know that they're likely to get injured, then I'd say, yeah, you can cut it. Um, for the most part, if they do some squats and they fall forward on their toes a little bit, it's okay to do squats. Okay. Just say, Hey, when you get tired, you're going to fall forward onto your toes. What I want you to do is make sure that you're driving through your heels on every set of your squats, okay? Especially on that third set, because I know you like to relax on that third set. That's when it gets really hard and you start to lose focus. So make sure you stay focused on that. You just give them a directive so that they can coach themselves. Um, and I think that's a really important lesson for everyone to learn that they can do these things on their own. Um, they just need to hold themselves accountable a little bit. Um, hopefully that helps in deciding when to allow your clients to exercise on their own.